What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update for Friday, May 24th. I'm Justin. I'm Marty. You are Marty. You're not I'm Dustin. I'm not Dustin. You could try to talk like Dustin. We're both though. from Wisconsin, though. What's, was that true? Yeah. What's your Dustin voice? Uh, what's up, everybody? Dustin here, and I'm going to go kill a butterfly. That was pretty good. Thanks. And now, if you just hate on all the games that are more than <laughs> any amount of money at all, <laughs> then you'll be like a true replacement for Dustin. Okay. I'll still um, sense. We have a handful of game debuts. Cool, cool, the cool. first one is Blip Blop. Blip Blop. Blip Blop. Blip <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a puzzle game. Okay. The basic mechanic is you uh, have a handful of blips or blups, <laughs> and then they spread. You can sort of see. You can hold down your finger to see where you're trying to color all the tiles. Okay. And then they spread diagonally and in all four cardinal directions. Okay. And so it's like, okay, that did this, and then this will do. Okay. This. So you want it in, in as in as few moves as possible. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Um, I'll do one more sage so yeah, we can yeah, get a yeah. feel for it. I, I we had our first three stars of the day, by the way. <laughs> we got the first, I'm sure it won't be the last. So it's like this gets almost everything, yeah. but you got those, you know, little outliers in the corner. Yeah, so yeah. it's like maybe here, oh, maybe here, maybe here. That's that's probably good for yeah. two stars, right? Huh? Oh no, that's all. That is the three star solution. That's perfect. We just okay. you saw it live. That's right. Blip blup. How much is this? One ninety nine. I like it. Yeah, puzzles. Pixobon. Okay. Um. This is a game where the gameplay is not that special, Okay. but I like the art a lot. I mean, I'm such a sucker for pixel art. Yeah, yeah. If you don't dig pixel art, I, you know, you can't trust my judgment on, like, games that yeah. feature pixel art. Because <laughs> um, the basic gameplay is block pushing. Okay. So, you know, we've oh, all seen... a little bit like uh, Lolo. Remember Lolo? Yeah, we've all yeah. seen games like this in the past. Like, okay, now slide that one up there, and then he'll go up here, and then slide, slide this. Slide down. There you go. <laughs> You're in an alien spaceship, which yep. I think is kind of cute. What I wish this game would do, I have no idea whether it does or not, because I'm really on, but I want it to be like a portal sort of deal, where it starts as block pushing, but then you like escape from your little jail. And it just becomes something much bigger. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it does that, no, so don't no. don't get excited. I'm just saying that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. So wait, so I go up here. There you go. And then down. The control, the touch controls are a little bit funky. Like yeah, you, I was going to say, I feel like this would, this would work a lot better with an... Uh, it, it would. It would absolutely work better with the D-pad. The touch controls totally work, but they're not the best. Yeah. So how much is this game? Uh, Pixelbon is 99 cents. It's not bad. Um, we, we have this uh, 2D shooter called Inheritage. Okay. That's not a word. Which I is like Square Enix, mate. Well, it's like in, it's in Inheritance and Heritage. Okay. It's Inheritage Light. Inheritage, the yeah. I, the Boundary of Excellence. They had a light version, so I downloaded the light version. Okay. Um, obviously, the full version is, you know, a full game. This sure. is a this is a 2D scrolling shooter. Okay. Um, I really like, oh, I was not expecting a scrolling shooter out of this. I was expecting an RPG. Yeah, it's not. I like some music. Um, it's an iPhone game, so we're uh, okay. blowing it up to play on yeah. an i. It's good blowing up. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I mean. Like, so I will always want to make sure I let people know sure, because sure. these games will look better on their sort of native resolution. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got the whole RPG... Yeah. You know, <laughs> like character port anime thing. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay, I don't okay, need. Let's see. Let's get some. Yeah, I know. Some, I don't need to be told how to. Let's get some gameplay up in us. You're shooting bullets. Heritage of excellence in heritage. Oh, flying cats! Whoa, this game became something that I did not expect. Yeah, I totally like it. Um, so, are you controlling both your cat and your you control girl? the wo the girl, and then the cat sort of just hangs out and does what it. Well, does the cat like cat. if you go down, the cat goes up, and if you go up, the cat goes down. Oh. Basically, you have a really small hitbox, so okay. it's kind of a bullet hell deal. Yeah. Um, you have a special ability down here in the corner, and then if you swipe. Yep. This is this is Japanese. Wow. Oh, okay. This is kind of red. Yeah, yeah. So, so definitely getting like a Gradius, but more of a, like a modern kind of Ikaruga vibe to it. Like the thing about shooters is you need to like kind of spend a lot of time with them sure, to get sure. a feel for whether yeah, the patterns yeah. are any good, any yeah. that's any good. But like the level of polish is much higher than I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in Heritage, is I, there's actually really good 2D shooters on the app. Yeah. There's Don Maku and a lot of really good ones. And I don't know if it stacks up to those, but the first impression is positive. Yeah, like I, the light version's free, I'm assuming. Yeah, so people can download the light version and yeah, see for themselves. Uh, today's last game debut is, uh, this came out yesterday, but we missed it. So I'm Battlestone. Not, this is actually from Zynga. Oh. Um, uh. Zynga's making a big push into what they're calling mid-core. Okay. So they're still social. You still kind of need to play with your friends or get their help. But, you know, it's more like actual real gameplay. There's game a lot of mechanics going on. It's not just Farmville bullshit. Sure, sure, Like, sure. it's a real video game. Yeah, and yeah. this is made by uh, A Bit Lucky, who are former LucasArts devs. Oh, They nice. worked on Forced Unleashed. Oh. Force. 
So the basic mechanic is you swipe over these guys, and then your character attacks them automatically. Okay. So that four-hit combo was me swiping my finger over them. Um, okay. So she's got a ranged attack that, you know, she'll attack if I yeah, swipe yeah. over things. You can sort of tap to move around, double sure, tap. Sure. So this ranged character, for example, I might want to make sure I have some distance between yeah, me yeah. and what I'm going to attack. So this is uh, it's kind of like, like a, a Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. Uh, yeah. Like this is kinda. this is a big big change for Zynga, sure. obviously. Oh, absolutely. But for other video gamers, you know, this is still sort of very simple, very yeah. casual. Like you can pull off these huge combos just by kind of swiping yeah. on your uh, swiping on the screen. It almost once. seems like my first hack slash. Yeah. Um. You know, and it's possible that again we're sort of in the tutorial stuff right now, so who knows how advanced it gets. Yeah, you yeah. have these special abilities, so you so know. So is it uh, the free to play? Or? This is okay. free to play. Yeah. Um, all the missions are like what you just saw was an entire mission. Okay. And so they're, so they're super like bite size. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the one thing, yeah, Zynga knows how to make a portable game. Yep. So. Um, I would say this is worth checking out. Yeah. You know, again, it's the same as the other games. Who knows how yeah. aggressive the monetization played a little is bit, or that sort yeah. of thing. Um, that's all the game debuts we okay. have today, Marty. Do we have and good sales? Well, so here's the deal. Since it's m uh, Memorial Day weekend, yeah. um, usually lots of app makers uh, run crazy sales over holiday oh, nice. periods. Okay. And so there's way too many for me to yeah, even yeah, jump yeah. in. But, you know, I downloaded some that are representative. Um, Ascension and all of Playdex uh, card games are 99 cents. Nice. So Playdeck did the Penny Arcade card yeah, game, yeah. Nightfall, Ascension, um, you know, and some other ones. They're all 99 Dollar cents piece, today. That's not bad. Ascension is the one to get if you're only going to get okay. one. Uh, Iopa Games uh, makes Welder, and they make a bunch of other mobile games, and they have some 99 cent okay. sales. I mean, there's just too much for me to possibly sort of tell you everything sure, sure. that's on sale. Uh, Angry Birds is still free. Angry Birds Space. That's a good deal. People should download that. Uh, the There's like a world, a grand strategy game called... Uh, World Conqueror 2, okay. it's on sale, um, or it might even be free. Look at these guys. These look like World Conquerors. The bottom line is, you know, just like any holiday weekend, or especially around, like, Christmas, yeah. you know, just hit up the App Store if there's something you had your eye on. Sure. And, you know, there's a pretty decent chance, you know, a lot of EA stuff is yeah, on sale. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can pull up the list of, Sims like, 2 is on sale. yeah, the Sam's Command & Conquer, Tetris, SimCity, you know, FIFA, Bejeweled, Need yeah. for Speed, you know, a lot of this stuff All is on sale. Most of them are on sale for a dollar. Yeah. And so I downloaded some, you know, that really, you know, light bite and push panic and some that I think people need to check out. You know, you can pause the screen and sure. take a look at them, but there's literally dozens of games, so we would be, it would be the world's longest app store it update would, if we tried to do all of them. It's just, uh, yeah, so good sales. Buy some things. At today's the other pick of the day. Yeah, at today's game debut is a blip blup. Blip blip blip. <laughs> you enjoy saying that. I really do, yeah. What would Destin say? Uh, he would complain about those 99 cent games being Yeah, cents. he would say, oh, Blip Blip looks okay. I'll get it when it's free. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, the problem with the video game industry. We hate Destin. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Come on. This is all silly, silly <laughs> joke time over here. D jokes with Destin and Marty. <laughs> or Destin and I just called myself Destin, which is weird. <laughs> jokes with Justin and Marty. Uh Pending. Marty, thank you for joining me. Yeah, it was my pleasure. Jason. Everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. We are off on Monday. That's exciting. So the App Store update will return on Tuesday. Um, remember, you know, we're always kind of trying to surface the newest, most interesting things happening in the world of mobile games. So uh, make sure you're keeping it locked to IGN.